now we talked a little bit about technique on actually how to kick the ball. Another thing that is very important is accuracy. Um, a good fun way to, to practice this is that you actually take the ball, you move it out on the sideline, and then you can now see that the goal post is a little bit more narrow. And it's a fun way to actually practice how accurate you are. So you start maybe 20, 30 yards out, and then you move into the goal line. And as you can see, the goal post is getting more narrow. And now I will show you how it's done. So as you can see, we actually moved up the ball. We're actually standing right on the goal line. And as you can see, the goal post is extremely narrow. Now let's see if I can make it. Another exercise is standing on the inline. And as you can see the goal post. And the only thing that really matters here is that you actually hit the post. When you're punting the ball, it's extremely important that you actually drop the ball straight down. If you tilt it a little bit backward or forward, it's going to put a rotation on the ball. And what you actually want to do is a nice spin, just like when the quarterback throws the ball. So therefore, when you drop it, it has to be dropped straight down. So there's many different ways to actually kick an onside kick. I'll now just demonstrate one way to actually do it. And that's the same approach as when you kick a field goal. Three steps back, two steps out. And then you kick it as hard as you can, coming from upside down through the ball and get a nice big rebound. It's very important that you open up your hip, you flex your foot, and you hit it with the toe as hard as you can.